everybody, Steven here from Off the Shelf Movie Night, and I'm excited to finally complete my complete movie physical media tour for 2019, early 2020. I've already bought some new things that weren't featured in the complete collection, but that's what happen happens with us collectors, right? We keep buying stuff. So uh, if you're into physical media, home theater, movies and, and TV and that kind of thing, and you like talking trash and, you know, getting into the interesting discussions about the subject, subject that we love, which is physical media, please uh, give me a subscribe and uh, hit that bell for the notifications on everything coming up pretty soon. I've got a lot of things on the way. If you have any thoughts or ideas about what you'd like to see that you haven't seen on other shows, please please feel free to share that with me in the comments. I'm kind of trying to rush through this tonight. I'm having foot surgery in the morning and it's got me a little bit stressed out, so I want to get this thing done for you guys so you have the complete collection up there to look at. It'll be in, I think, a total of five with this one, five installments. I'd rather break it up into smaller videos than go like an hour, hour and a half in one video. That's, I just think that's better. And it's broken by genre, so you can see action films, or you can see horror films, or documentaries. And I have a Criterion, and I think Arrow Video is included in that one also. So this final video here is going to feature TV show box sets and extra special editions. So there'll be a kind of a variety of things here. But it's not going to be a huge list. This is just some of my most special things. So uh, let's get into this thing. All right, let's get into these. This uh, first one I have a very strong feeling about. This is the Marvel Cinematic Universe briefcase uh, for Cinematic Universe Phase 1. Um, I'm not going to get into these and uh, open them unless you send me something in the comments and ask me to. I'm sure most of you guys know this set, have it probably. So that's Phase 1. Big old box, big monster box. And we'll get to more of those coming up. This is the Vengeance Trilogy. If you don't know these films, you should really look them up. Simply for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy, and Lady Vengeance. This box set, this tin, is currently out of print. You can still find it, though. It is still out there to be had. I've seen it on Amazon. This thing was put out by Palisades Tartan Asia Extreme, which was an amazing label. Sadly, is gone from us now. Um, this is all three films on Blu-ray inside here. Again, will open upon request. So, this is a DVD for Revenge of the Ninja, one of my favorite films from the 80s. I think ninjas are the the quintessential superhero. They, they were superheroes in film before there were superheroes in film. Uh, it's just a DVD, but why is it special? It is signed by Sam Furstenberg, who is the director of this film. I was lucky enough to meet him at a film festival, and I took my DVD with me, and he signed it. So this will never leave my collection. All right, we're going to get into the first of our TV sets here. This is a DVD set, because I don't know if this is available any other way. I probably should check and see if there's an upgrade. Uh, if you're not familiar with the Taken series, it is... Uh, critically acclaimed, but it is produced by Steven Spielberg. I, th I'm, I believe he actually directs an episode also, but uh, a whole group of amazing directors took on each episode, which an episode for this was a two-hour film. So this is a series of films that are all interconnected. Uh, tell me if you know who that little girl is. She's uh, all grown up now and doing much bigger things. Um, these are generally really good films, all tied together into one epic series. This was on Sci-Fi Channel. Uh, everybody knows this set, Firefly, the complete series. Rumors are starting to sprout around about the show coming back again. I don't know. I doubt it. But, I don't know. People are talking. The V to Final Battle. This is a film that ties up the V miniseries from the 80s. I have the box sets here also for the, for the seasons. Um, inside here, one of the actors has signed all of these. I'll open them up and go through that with you if you tell you the story of that. If you uh, let me know in the comments you want to see it. Stranger Things. I love this box. This is uh, season one. Sad part of it is, we've got it on 4K Blu-ray there is because the show is kind of, to me, deteriorated from season to season. I don't know if I'm going to continue collecting those. So I have some seasons of 
Twilight Zone. That's season three. Season four. And season one. So I have a number yet to, to buy of those. Just gotten those mostly uh, as review screeners, writing for different websites. I was sent those for review. Okay, I'll drag this baby over here. This is the Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the complete series. This box has kind of been through it, but to be honest with you, it wasn't in the best shape when I got it. Uh, the, the series is out in much smaller boxes now than this one, but this box has in it, and I'm not gonna go through it, but I will show you, kinda cool there. It has um, special features there that were only available in this set, so that's why I still have it. Okay, there's another big guy. This is one you guys probably have. This is the complete collection of Halloween films. Got them all there. And this is Blu-ray, so of course I have uh, the original Halloween. I have it in 4K now, but I'm going to keep this set because there's a lot of great bonus features for the entire set of films there. And I don't know if I need all of them in 4K, to be honest with you. Here's another beautiful set. And I have opened this in a previous video, so that I'll, I'll tag that right here uh, so you can see that if you'd like to see um, a box unboxing of this Alfred Hitchcock set. Limited edition collection of Alfred Hitchcock films there. That essential set is out in a, in a much uh, less cool box. This thing is real cool. You just need to see it open. Okay, I'm going to bring this one in stages here. You know what's coming. This guy right here. This is the Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 2 set. And I do have the envelope with all the bonus features on the shelf still. Cool series of films. I don't, I'm, it's not my favorite set. It's kind of hard to display in a lot of ways. One of the first great box sets I ever bought. And probably a cooler briefcase in a lot of ways than the Marvel one. This is the original Blade Runner. Inside here is a Blu-ray that uh, has every imaginable version of the film. I have this film on 4K now also. Okay. Again, I'll open that if you want to see it. It's actually real cool what's in there. Uh, Bond set. James Bond complete set all the way to Skyfall. I was lucky I got this set after Skyfall came out on blue, so it was included in the set. Some people's versions did not include it. So here we have Apocalypse Now, this 4K special edition release. I did do an unboxing of this guy. I'll include a, a link here so you can see that unboxing and discussion of my real opinion of this packaging. Okay, oh, this guy right here is heavy. Let's see if I can get it over here. Oh, one of the best TV sets ever released. This is the Lost Complete series inside here. Again, on Blu-ray. I will unbox this if you want to see it. There's a lot of cool stuff in there. I like Lost. I didn't have as much of an issue with the ending as everyone else did, but I understand why they had the issue they had. Okay. Here we have The Death of Superman. This is a cool set. I'm just gonna show you a little bit about why I have this here. It is a comic book, graphic novel, including complete story of the death of Superman. But the reason it's included here is biome. There you go. Got the movies in here. Got the 4K and the Blu-ray. Very cool set. We're getting close. Almost done. My last special edition set here I want to show you is, you can see me there in the, in the mirror, or the reflection. This is the Phantasm complete set of films. There's a new set out now that is a Blu-ray set. These are DVDs. I've had this for many years. But I'm not interested in buying another one of these balls. One of these Phantasm balls. I'd like to just get the set in a box on Blu-ray um, and keep this Phantasm ball that I have. Okay. Well, there it is. There's my special editions and TV sets. I don't have a lot after uh, uh, everything that happened. 
Uh, there are a few other special editions that you have seen that I did go ahead and include in other um, other videos for various reasons. So um, I'll just give you a quick, quick, uh, quick. What's quick mean? Uh, let me just pan around here. I'll give you a quick look at the shelves. You'll see holes where things are supposed to be because they've been pulled down uh, to show you special editions. There's the there's the envelope for this series two or phase two Avengers or a Marvel set. And there's you've seen that box set. There was included with Steel Books. I've got some board games out here. Hilarious. We went all retro for a night. Um, okay. As you can see, here's the set. Some knickknacks here. I'll take you on a complete tour of the room if that's something you'd like to see. Podcasting stuff there. And this is where the Bond set goes. Some more books and that kind of thing. So if you like this kind of stuff and you enjoyed this video or the other videos I put out, please give me a subscribe and hit that notification bell and stay caught up with me. Follow me on OTS Movie Night on Instagram. I do post pictures of things as I get them. There's a hole there for special edition things. And as they get added, you'll see them here. Um, I love this clock right here. We can talk more about that on a, on a room tour. Anyway, until the next video, uh, pull something cool off the shelf. Share it with your friends and family and remind them why physical media is the way to go. It's the best way to look at films and TV. We'll see you on the next one.